Um, let, let me ask you about uh, really quickly on Capitol Hill, some of the things that are going on. You're obviously part of the leadership being a chairman. Um, yesterday, John Boehner went out golfing uh, with the president. They were on the same team. Could they be on the same team when it comes time to figure out how to raise the debt ceiling? Well, you know, you is there going to be a solution to this? You don't get mulligans in, uh, in Washington. Yeah. One of the challenges is that you, you can't simply say, well, we scored the same. There's going to have to be a win for the American people. Right now, that win is in the Ryan plan, and there is no opposing plan. At some point, there's got to be another plan, not just the Ryan plan to be criticized. Now. Mark? Mr. Chairman, take go back up to 30,000 feet in your role as being in charge of oversight by the branch, the part of the branch that you Republicans control. What is your current evaluation of the Obama administration? Are they corrupt? Are they incompetent compared to other past administrations? How would you rate them overall? Well, I'm, I haven't been in Washington long enough to, to sort of go back to Teapot Dome. Uh, somebody probably is. What I'd say is that they've had too much walking around money, including TARP and stimulus, and that has caused a lot of distortions in how they spend money. When it comes to pure corruption, in other words, did the money just disappear? No, this is not a particular, the stimulus money was well accounted for. Did it go to places it shouldn't have gone to? Yes. Was it wasteful in the sense that it didn't create those jobs, save or create those jobs? Absolutely. But was it well accounted for? Yes. And, and I'm glad you asked because that's one of the good things coming out of a bad thing is we think we have some good ideas of how to account for your tax dollars better, much of which came from uh, Earl Devaney and the Rat Board. Did the money go to the wrong places, though, for the wrong reasons, meaning it, it, not, a, not corruption, but the idea that somehow people were funneling money to, the, to the, either their friends or political parties or you know, that kind of thing, as opposed to people just had an idea of where it should go and they, they were all well-intentioned? Well, there was very clearly a bias because the president had the ability to give it to anybody. So he could give it to green jobs, even if that green jobs didn't happen, even if those green jobs went to China. Uh, he could do it for political, you see what we did, purposes. Uh, you know, one example would be, you know, you've got this Volt, uh, uh, Chevy Volt, and mm -hmm. GE buys half of the total production, and we give $375 million of tax credits to make it pencil out for GE, even though it wouldn't pencil out in any other conceivable way, even including the advertising. Those are distortions where you say, do the American people really think that we should have put 375 million in subsidies into GE buying these electric cars so that everyone could make a statement about the future with a really bad car. I mean, this is a car that gets basically less than 30 miles per gallon, goes about 25 miles well, before you Can I take the other side of that for one sec? Which is, you know, what, what, is there something to be said about trying to create an iconic vehicle in this, in this country uh, to put us back on the map, to put us in the electric car game? You know, we talk about sort of building an infrastructure in this country, right. um, trying to create real innovation. Is there something to be said about the, there is a cost typically with trying to be the first mover. I, well, the, I just throw it out there as an idea. The cost to be the first mover at Toyota was to produce the Prius, which is a world-great automobile that is iconic. And they did it with their money, and they did it with broad... Mm -hmm. There were some incentives. You could get in the carpool lane in Virginia, even if, you, uh, if, even if you didn't have two people in the car. But those incentives were available to all comers. In this case, you're talking about... General Motors, pretty much at the time that it's owned by the government, do it, pushing a bunch of agenda that was, was pushed that way. So it's hard to call that corruption, but I'm certainly going to call it distortion. Now, when you have something that looks like Iran-Contra done that puts thousands of weapons into the hands of bad people, I'm not sure you want to call that corruption, but it certainly is the kind of failure to have the controls that one would expect. And this is a program that started almost...